Welcome back everyone. So today we're going to talk about the crypto scams here in India. So I'm sure you must have, you are tired of listening to all these shitty coins which are being launched in India like every month, especially the last year there has been so many cryptocurrencies in India. Uh, just like A coin, B coin, C coin, D coin, E coin without actually having any code, any software code, any, any blockchain. And of course, there have been millions of people who have been scammed here in India. And that's really quite, quite sad to know, because especially for me, somebody who is so excited about the whole cryptocurrency space and so positive on how the things blockchain and cryptocurrencies are going to bring new things to the world. And the same space when you have these uh, scammers out there with their own Ponzi schemes and their plan. I mean, it really makes you sad. So finally, we have some good news coming out from the regulators uh, saying that. Let me see if you're if I'm OK. I think I'm not visible quite well, but I'm visible. Right. So the news is uh, from it. There's a been a special unit has been formed to investigate cryptocurrency cases in India. So all those Ponzi schemes that you've heard of so far, uh, I'm sure there are many. I mean, uh, should we take the name? Give me the sum of the Ponzi schemes, cryptocurrency names in the chat box. Let me hear it from you. What are the cryptocurrency scams that you have come across here in India and uh, that you know of? And uh, all those scams are going to be wiped off from India. Now, this is also a very good signal because you see uh, the special unit has been set to get rid of crypto scams. This also means that maybe there is a space for regulations also. Maybe there is a regulation coming in as well. So that could also be a very good signal. So I want to take your opinion. What do you think? Because I'm quite positive that if the government, if the team, if the officials here in India have set up a team to only get rid of the crypto scams, that means they also know the good part of the cryptos, cryptocurrencies and probably there is a regulations also coming in, correct? Otherwise, why would they do that? I mean, we are already. Uh, so let's see. Be lated. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much. Nabeen, Guru, Mitras, MCAP. Yeah, MCAP is one. Give me one. Give me some more. That pick was so cool. <laughs> yeah, the thumbnail, man. Well, uh, can you suggest me a camera? Because this camera is not really good. I need a, I need a very good camera for the live in the night. And uh, this is not really good. It's good to be back again. Shiv Bhaiya, you're looking great. Thank you so much, Animesh. <laughs> so much of love. Sometimes it's very overwhelming how to respond to this. so much of love from you all. Uh, Tozin Sayed, hey dude, how are you guys? So, there is a good news coming out from India. I'm sure you'll be happy to know that a special team has been set up to investigate all the cryptocurrency cases here in India. Uh, so this is coming out from Maharashtra, and of course, there have been so many scams in Pune, in Thane, uh, related to Bitcoin. Uh, you must have heard about all these cryptocurrency scams, right? Everybody is trying to be Bitcoin. Uh, just, just in the name of Bitcoin, there are so many scams going on. Everybody is launching their own cryptocurrencies, running some Ponzi schemes, some plans. And the poor people who don't even understand how cryptocurrency and blockchain really work, they fall for it. They fall for it when because they are promised some kind of uh, returns every month, every week. And uh, this is very sad to know. So finally, we have a special team which is being set up only to look into that. So probably we can remove, we can get rid of these cryptocurrency fraud cases which are going on in India. So this is a very good news. And hopefully, if if there is a special team set up for cryptocurrency scam, hopefully there is a regulations also coming in for India. Now, another news that I also want to share with you, which is quite important, is that talks about the brain drain. Now, one of the biggest firm from India is moving to US. So initially their plan was it's called B1T Capital. So they are going to be investing into various crypto projects. So now since there is no 
there there are no regulations as yet in india and there is you know uh, the things are not very clear the company is actually moving to us and you know this company is also a part of uh, angel list i'm not sure if you heard of it hi sanjeet how will you hope to get more good news very soon will they legalize probably gopi i think so because that's why that's why they have set up a unit to just investigate cryptocurrency scams right so basically what they want to do is they don't want to of course ban cryptocurrencies and bitcoin they are only investigating the crypto scams so probably there is regulations coming in uh tell me about mainframe mainframe is something that i have not read much about guru mitras i know that uh, everyone has been talking about it like sapo man box mining uh, but i haven't read much about it so i have no clue what is exactly, exactly going on again i am late sanjeet no you're on time buddy you're on right on time any idea when cboe can get approval for btc etf ah not really man uh, Hey Gaurav, what's up? How have you been? Where have you been? Good to see you, though. Right. So, well, hopefully, hopefully, CBO is. By the way, everyone. So this is the conference that I was actually. I was uh, Anuj. I think message today on the Telegram about uh, this conference, which is happening in Hyderabad, uh, which is happening at Novotel H I C C Complex, Kondapur, Hyderabad. This is happening on third and fourth of August. So, in case if you are Hyderabad, I think you should definitely attend because there are some people like from uh, people from Icon, uh, Gibral Network, Kinetic Capital, and then you have people from Niti Aayog, Government of Telangana, Government of Goa, Nucleus Vision. I think this is uh, being. Um, I think the main sponsor is being the Nucleus Vision, or maybe they are the one who are holding it. but you have a lot of authorities coming from various institutes various government organizations and also people uh, from all over the world traveling like for example tim draper is traveling you have ian balina also coming in on uh, offer this conference right ian balina you have uh, you have uh, amita afghan ceo niti aayog government of india right he is attending it as well then min kim co-founder icon foundation so these are the guys coming in uh, of course i'm going to be making a special video i think i'll be getting some discounts and coupons for you which you can use in order to book the ticket so in case if you're planning to book the tickets don't book it as get because i might get some discounts for you all so maybe 20 maybe 40 to 50% discounts uh, is what i will be able to get i i think for you Uh, right now it's expensive right now it's about 149 dollar so maybe what if i could get whatever discount i can so gold silver platinum so yeah i think uh, this is an exciting if, let me know if you're already in hyderabad and if you're in south india and if you're looking to attend this and uh, hopefully we'll get the tickets uh, we will get some discounts you see uh but this is going to be very interesting because you have some good speakers coming in i would love to attend if i can let's see and this is happening in the month of august guys sanjeet hi will you be attending i'm not really sure gaurav it's on 3rd and 4th of august it's in hyderabad i live in mumbai i'm just thinking well, what should i do i may go i may not go i haven't made up my mind as yet but uh, if you are attending you should definitely attend because there are so many speakers people from across the globe are coming in i'll be happy taking the coupon planning to go that's awesome gaurav that's awesome so i think i'll be getting the code tomorrow a discount code probably i had a word with them today this afternoon so i think i'll be getting this tomorrow so once i get it i'll put it uh, uh, i'll put the discount code and then probably you can avail it uh shiv are you also going i'm not truly really sure sanjeet but i want to go but let's see share the link please sure i'm going to be sharing the link today in the chat box 
here here you go you have the link uh let's ban shave i can fly from delhi oh wow <laughs> sure uh let's be there shave oh everyone who everyone wants to come is it uh hit like thank you so much uh avit animesh I I would love to attend if you can get some coupons for discount. I definitely want. I'm just 100 kilometers away from Hyderabad. I would love to meet you as well, Shiv. Wow, Chinna Abhishek, great. Um, I think I'm definitely getting some discounts because I had a word with the organizers organizers today, um, this afternoon. So I think uh, yes, they are preparing some for discount code, and I'll be able to put that uh, for you maybe tomorrow or day after. But yes, don't buy the ticket as yet wait for the discount code i think uh, the discount code will be coming in you know uh so that's amazing i'm glad that i actually shared this with you because uh there are about how many days it's happening on 3rd and 4th of august and today we are on 11th of july so i think about 20 days right and uh yeah i'm glad that i shared and i'm glad that there are so many people who are interested i mean uh, amazing uh from west bengal okay sanjeet that's great uh nabin says will you put some lights on recent trade wars between us and china and also us has raised interest rates and it's indicating more printing of usd what's going to be the impact of it nabin uh to be honest i'm not an expert on the subject but here is something that i know that eventually this is one of the reason why we need cryptocurrencies and and bitcoin you know because you know all these countries have had this their monopoly right they have had these wars you know whenever these kind of war happen who really suffers you know it's the people because at the end of the day it's the people's money which gets burnt whether it's a war uh, and so you know the wars are funded with people's money correct uh, so that's what that's what really happens and so what i can say is that there has always been a currency war usd versus chinese versus russia or whatever and this is where the cryptocurrency comes really handy you know all of a sudden you don't have to be dependent on a certain government let it be a us government or the chinese government or whoever it is because bitcoin or cryptocurrencies they don't rely on what a government decides so that's all i can say the more this this kind of news that i get the more my belief into cryptocurrencies and blockchain really increases because i know at the end of the day this is what is going to sub survive if there is going to be these country wars among them their their currency is going to lose value maybe they will have to print more like the fiat dollar like the china uh, like the us dollar have been doing so uh, i'm sure india has been doing so so all these central governments will keep printing more and eventually it's all going to be a uh, the, the value is going to decrease right and that is why the cryptocurrencies are the future there's no doubt about it it's whether it's a bitcoin whether it's a ether uh, nobody really knows and it's okay it's okay not to know everything right now uh, you know with time a lot of things that we will come to know but again this is a learning phase you know and at least what we have discovered which most of the people have not even discovered maybe 90 percent haven't discovered that cryptocurrencies are going to the future and so i find myself very lucky and of course everyone here that at least we have discovered the fact that the fiat currency will, will be removed and the cryptocurrencies are going to take over at least we know that fact uh you know so i think that's very powerful just just knowing this fact and holding on to it is is very powerful according to me well the camera is really bad guys i don't like myself in the camera 15 people watching amazing please hit the like or a dislike from west bengal thank you shiv i'll be waiting short sure uh if you can get some tokens perfect yes let's be there chef uh right so that's all i wanted to share everyone uh that we have a special team which has been set up special unit formed to investigate crypto cases in india which is a very good news because at least we will be able to get get rid of those shit coins that come in every new day they 
put up a new website and they they start asking for the investments from people uh, they claim that they'll be next bitcoin uh, with no technology with no software code with no github nothing so at least those kind of cryptocurrency scams can be reduced at least these guys will be extra careful by coming up whenever they think about any launching some some such scam coins so this is the news uh, i think i can put this in the chat box and how is the market going market is not very good right market is not very good again we have a dip a small dip in the market it's come back to 6400 from 6700 Sanjeet update is excellent. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sanjeet. Uh, Marian Murphy. Hi, Marian. How are you? So, Chinna B6 says, Hi, Shiv. I'm planning to accumulate some more crypto. I'm thinking to wait for more days. BTC will go down more. What do you think? What do you say? Well, uh, Abhishek, all I can say is that the cryptocurrency markets are very unpredictable. Uh, so uh, one thing that I do know that maybe Bitcoin is at its lowest. I don't know how long it's going to stay at this price. Uh, but I think it's a good time to buy. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, it might just go to 6,000 or maybe 5,800. Uh, you never know. The markets are unpredictable. But uh, I also think the market is not going to really have a bull run anytime soon. Just, that's what just my opinion is. And I've got, of course, none of don't take anything as an investment advice that everything that I say here. But all the, I think I guess the point that I'm trying to make is the market is pretty volatile. So yes, it might just go uh, to 6000 or it might not. So <laughs> I hope it does so that you can buy some more. Yes, that need to stop all scam programs. Great, everyone. That's it. I think I'm going to keep it short. I'm looking out for a good camera. I think this is a very bad quality. I don't want to see myself on this camera. And I'll see you all tomorrow uh, in the morning video. And till then, take care and just know that good things are coming in. Good things are coming in, everyone. Well, if you have this, these uh, special team set up to get rid of cryptocurrency and Bitcoin-related scams in India, so I'm sure uh, regulators are also coming up with some kind of regulations as well. Uh, it's very sad that in the meantime, a lot of companies have already started moving out of India. But I think uh, you never know. Good news might be coming in very soon. So with that uh, hope, I hope that that happens. And uh, with that, I end this live. Just want to say... That's amazing. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night.